in this playwright tutorial we are going to discuss about how to capture the screenshot in playwright so we will capture the screenshot by using the playwright so it can be the element screenshot it can be the page screenshot or it can be the full page screenshot you will see how to capture the all these screenshot screenshots using the playwright tool so now i will navigate to the vs code and here under the tests folder, I am creating one file called screenshots.spec.js. So that's it, guys. Now I will go to the first test.spec file, and here I will take this test and I will copy the test here. So simply I will keep the only skeleton of the playwright test, and rest of the details I will delete it. And here I will give the test name as take screenshot in playwright. And that's it guys. Now let's look at the manual, manual scenario. Then we will come back here and we'll see how to capture the element screenshot. And then we will see how to capture the page screenshot. And also we will see how to capture the full page screenshot in Playwright Automation tool. So here I will navigate to the web browser. So firstly we will open the youtube.com slash at the rate tester stock. So here we have a one element called channel header. If I inspect this particular channel header, so we are going to identify this channel header and we are going to capture the element screenshot. So you can identify any element in the web page and you can try to capture the screenshot. So if I inspect this particular channel header and if you see here, so this particular div tag has the ID. So I will copy this particular ID and here I'm just using the hash followed by the ID value. So here I have written a simple CSS selector and by using this we can identify the element and then we can see how to capture the screenshot in playwright so let's navigate to this url first and i'll copy this url and i will enter the url here so that's it guys now we have to identify the channel header element first so here i'm using await keyword followed by page dot so here i'll say locator and inside the locator function, I will pass the CSS selector value. That's it. Once we pass the CSS selector value over there, and simply you need to call the one function called screenshot. So here we have to pass the one object that is the location of the file. So let's create a one folder inside our project. So here I'm creating one folder called screenshots. So we will keep all the screenshots inside the screenshots folder. So firstly, we will keep the element screenshot inside the screenshots folder. So here we have to specify the path. So here I'm saying path colon in the single quotation. So I'm adding dot slash and the folder name screenshots. And followed by that, we have to specify the screenshot name. So here I'll say element dot png. So that's it guys. So firstly, we have identified the element by using the CSS selector. And here we are adding the location where we want to capture the screenshot. And also we are adding the screenshot name as element.png. So that's it guys. And finally, I will add some weight here by using the await followed by page dot wait for timeout. So here I'll pass 5000 milliseconds and that's it guys. Under the screenshots folder right now we don't have anything. So after running the this particular automation test, so it is going to capture the screenshot of the web page element and also it will keep inside the screenshots folder.
that's it guys and if you see here so our test is getting passed i will go to the screenshots folder and if you see here so already it has captured the element screenshot and also it has added inside the screenshots folder so let's go to the location where exactly it has placed so simply i will open the screenshot and if you see here so playwright has captured the element screenshot right so this is how you can capture the web page element screenshot now let's see how to capture the page screenshot so it is very easy so we have to use the await keyword followed by page so i don't want to capture the particular element screenshot here so i want to capture the current page screenshot so that's the reason directly i'm calling the screenshot method and here again we have to pass the location of the file where we want to keep the screenshot also so simply i will copy the same location and we will update the file name so here i will give the screenshot name as page.png so our screenshot name would be the page so that's it guys let's run the test now so this time playwright will take the current page screenshot that's it guys and if you see here so our test is passing and if you see the screenshots folder so we have the another screenshot called page.png got added so let's go to the location so let's open the page screenshot and if you see here so playwright has captured the current page screenshot so this is how you can capture the screenshot of the element or the current page now this time we will capture the full page screenshot so it is very much similar whatever the syntax what we have used for the capturing the screenshot of the current page and here we have to pass the another object called so that's another flag so here we have to use the full page colon and here we have to pass the true or false so here i'm passing the true as the value so that it is going to capture the full page screenshot and i will give the name of the screenshot as full page dot png so that's it guys now i will run this particular test now this time we are going to capture the full page screenshot using playwright tool and if you see here so our test is passing and you can see the test results also so our test is getting passed and if you see the screenshots folder so there is another screenshot added in the same location full page.png so let's go to the location and if i open that particular screenshot so if you see here so this is a full page screenshot so currently the page is not loaded and you can try to scroll down and you can take the full page screenshot that time the whole page will be visible properly so this is how you can capture the element screenshot page screenshot full page screenshot using playwright in the next playwright tutorial i will be discussing how to capture the screenshot and how to add into the report when test is failed